Hello, my name is Stacy from the Blue Keystone. I sew and sell modest clothing. Um, and today I am going to show you how to measure yourself. I'm going to measure my dress form Heather. And I'm going to show you how you can do it to get accurate results, whether you're trying to buy something custom made for me or whether you're trying to make sure that your sizes online are right. This is how you measure. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need is a tape measure. These are very cheap. Um, I got this one for a dollar at Joann's. You can find them really cheap at Joann's or Walmart. At the very least, what you can do is get a string and wrap it around and then measure the string. If you have to do it that way, you can do it that way too. But um, take the, the tape and for the bust, you're going to measure the biggest part here, okay? So Heather has the measurement of 33 and a half. You're going to want to make sure that it's level all the way around and at the biggest part, the apex. Um, another important measurement for me is this shoulder across the back measurement. So from where you want your shoulder to be here or here. You don't want them to be dropped unless you're going for an oversized look. You want them to be right at the shoulder right when it starts to go down. I know sometimes we have a lot more weight here um, and it's hard to tell where you want it, but you don't want it to be too far down. You really don't want it to be um, too far in either. You kind of want it to be right when, like I said, the arm goes down across the back. This is not a measurement, unfortunately, that you can do yourself. You probably need somebody to do it for you. This one is 15 across the back from shoulder to shoulder. Okay. The waist is another important thing. The waist is, a lot of times people measure their waist, but then they wear it down here at their hips. You need to measure your waist where you wear your skirts. Okay, if it's a dress, that's different because the waist is kind of determined by the dress. But if it's a skirt, you measure where you wear your skirt. So, if you wear your skirt up here, then your measurement would be 24 and a half. If you like to wear it down on your hips, then your measurement would be 31 and a half. Big difference. So make sure that you note that because it doesn't do you any good to tell them what this measurement is if you want it to sit here because it's not going to sit there. Um, it's not going to sit at a 31 when you gave them a 24. Another thing with the waistband is do not add extra inches. In fact, you don't really want to add anything anywhere because a good seamstress knows what that measurement is. Now, if you're looking online to see what the measurements of a garment is, that is the measurement of the garment. If it is tight in the waist, so you, your waist is 24, say, and the skirt is a 23, that's not bad you're going to have a little bit, you you want it tight in the waist. So if it's 24, 23, that's good. The hip measurement is different. So let's say that your hips are 36. Then if you're looking and the skirt is a 36, that's going to be tight on you. It's not like they measured a 36 person and then they made the skirt. If your hips are 36, then you're going to want to look for a 38 at least. I mean, it depends on how you want it to fit, but for me, I like at least a two inches movement in there. Um, and again, your hips you measure at the widest spot. Um, there's one other me measurement that is important for me, and that is for the base of the neck and then down to where your waist waistline is for dresses. Okay, so real quick re recap. The bust, you need to do it at the widest part. The waist, you need to measure where you want to wear your skirt. Unless it's a dress, then you're going to want to measure where your natural waistline is. Your hips, you're going to want to measure the widest part as well. And then the length is whatever length you want it to be at. Okay? I hope this is helpful, and I hope this 
gives you some kind of guidelines to work with as you're buying online or purchasing from my shop. You can check out what I have to offer at thebluekeystone.com and I can sew you almost anything that you would want in your size because not everybody's the same size. If you um, like these videos, please consider hitting the prescribe, <laughs> the subscribe button right there. Thanks.